Let me also say this, that God has been speaking about land. Many are getting ready to purchase land um, or come into the land for you to possess it. God is getting ready to bring you into the land for you to possess for his uh, glory. Um, God brought me to Jeremiah 30, 33, I believe it is. You might want to read that. Um, let me just double check. He also brought me to Ezekiel um, chapter 46, verses 16 through... Um, through 18 actually let me read it the transfer of royal lands this is what the lord says if the prince gives a gift to each of his sons as their inheritance it will belong to his sons it will become their property by inheritance but if he gives a gift from his inheritance to one of his servants it will belong to that servant until the year of freedom when it will revert to the prince his inheritance belongs only to his sons. It is theirs. The prince must not take any of the people's inheritance, evicting them from their property. He is to provide an inheritance for his sons, for his own property, so that none of my people will be displaced from his own property. Okay, so this was talking about the, the transfer of royal lands, but you definitely want to read... <clears throat> Everybody got has to get their own inheritance for themselves, okay? Um, and when you stand up for your bloodline, then you save the rest of your bloodline. The rest of your bloodline is saved because you break the generational curse by um, giving your life to Christ as a living sacrifice, by doing what nobody else did, you know, by obeying God. You know, it, it, it frees the bloodline, which means that it helps the bloodline. It helps the bloodline to uh, reach salvation. But not only that, they, they still have to choose. You understand? Nobody goes to heaven because, you know what I'm saying, you stood up for the bloodline. That's not how it works. Like, they don't automatically go to heaven because you stood up. They have to also choose. But because you stood up, God uses that to draw them to, to him. So, um, your obedience is definitely tied to other people. That's why it's not, it's not just about you. You know what I'm saying? When you stand up and you do what's right you open the way for so many to follow in your footsteps to get Christ for themselves. All right. So let me show you. I think it's Jeremiah. Here we go. Jeremiah. I believe it's here we go. It's actually Jeremiah 32. You want to read Jeremiah 32? Jeremiah's land purchase. Okay. Um, it talks about it's, it's, it's relatively long. Read all of it because it talks about the permanent covenant that God will make for us as well or with us for, as well, okay? Many are coming into restoration, full-blown restoration, um, and God is confirming his, he's reminding you of his promises, all right? Many have forgot, has forgotten what Jesus or God has said or what God has promised you. And so he's bringing it to your remembrance because I'm about to do it. God, you can blow my mind. I'm about to do it. That's what I'm hearing. All right. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.